Today we're gonna to be using tons of dead fish to chum this saltwater canal where we've seen tons of sea monsters. I'm talking 100 plus pound fish right here behind us. Now usually we do this at the shark dock back at Chris's house where we've caught some sharks, some big barracudas, and a ton of other awesome fish. But today we're switching it up and we're chumming this canal right behind me. Let's get this chum in the water. Let's see what we can catch today. Huge boil right here. What is it, Jack? What do we got? Ugh. Look at the pork. The pork's flared. There's that pork fish. He's flared. That was a chum. That was a jumbo. Big dog, Sam. Big dog, big dog. Oh, nice. Here we go. 80 pound tarpon. He literally scared the crap out of me. It, was, it looked like a freight train. No, no, he's going right for it. He's going right for it. Let's go, baby. Big shark on it. So we've got quite the spread of bait fish here. Take a look, we got five big whole bonitas. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we also have one that's previously filleted. It's just a big old carcass, but you can see how much blood is inside here. Then we got two boxes of sardines right here. These are the money makers, people. These are the money makers. We got a bag of dead shrimp and two blocks of chum and inside this cooler here, which I'm kind of scared open. Oh my gosh. We have, uh, where are the carcasses? They're at the bottom. We have a bunch of uh, snapper carcasses from when the British and I went to the inland, caught a bunch of snappers. I filleted them yesterday, threw them inside here. So we're gonna dump that inside of here as well. We got a lot of chum and a lot of big fish to find. Now we also have some live shrimp with us here today. Always good to have a nice frisky live bait. Just in case the fish are being a little bit finicky, we've got some nice juicy live baits. And we might even take the boat out to go see what we can find along the mangroves here in a little bit. So uh, it's gonna be a good video. We gotta get some chum in the water so we can get this thing kicked off. Let's do it. All about the spread ladies and gentlemen i have a feeling i have a strong feeling we're going to catch a giant today because last time when we when we chum just uh, did we, were we even chumming that day or did we just come and it was a huge it was a we just we just showed up we just showed up one day and there was literally a hundred pound tarpon swimming right here and we actually hooked one before when we went offshore and came back and filleted our mahi carcasses a giant 80 pound tarpon came and jack actually hooked him so that's what we're going for today just a, a giant fish an absolute hog giant fish. So we have an absolute ridiculous amount of things to throw in this water. And obviously we start with the double ground extra fine chum. You gotta have double ground extra fine. Double ground extra fine. It travels really well through this canal. Trust me, that's what you gotta go. So we're starting with that. Obviously gotta get that in the water first, get those smells going. Then we move on to the carcasses. I really have a feeling it's gonna be quick. Cross your fingers. I, Please. Think, I think instantly we're gonna see some big fish here. I haven't actually seen a giant cootie here before, but we have seen the giant tarpon. You never know. No, I've seen a six footer. I swear, I've hooked him too. He would eat the snappers that I hook. Okay, there you go. Perfect, that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. We got how many snapper carcasses? Six. Six snapper carcasses, six bonita carcasses, two chum blocks, two blocks of sardines, a bag of shrimp. I mean, we're loaded we're up. We're loaded up. And when it comes to rods we have rigged, we got small to big. We got the small dude in case we see any little fish swimming around that are cool. We got the medium sized for, you know, maybe a cooter or two. And then we got the big hockey donk giant rod for sharks or tarpon. That is the setup today. And by the way, guys, as we're chumming this dock here, we just dropped our brand new fish guy mahi hat for all you saltwater guys out there. Now we got the bass fish guy hat and we got the mahi fish guy hat. Let's go. Perfect time for the Christmas season. So go check out the hats at shopfishguy.com. Get all your holiday needs over there. New mahi hat is now live. Let's get the chum in the water. Here we go. Extra fine. Double ground extra fine. Double grain, bro. double ground. Ooh. I'm so sorry about that, Chris. It's all right. It's going to be one of those days. We're ready days to roll. We're going to get days. stinky. It does, it, it, it's inevitable. Yep. It's going to happen. You ready for this? Yep. First round of chum. Here we go. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Now, this is a brand new dock, like we mentioned. We usually do this at my house, and it's definitely a little bit different. This is definitely a little bit different uh, of a dock. They love their plants. As you can see, we got about 15 plants in the span of about seven feet. So we got a lot of plants to, to work around and go through. We're trying a new spot. We've seen some big fish here and we don't know what we're gonna see. A lot of nurse sharks by me, could be bull sharks A lot sharks of sergeant here. majors down here and blue stripe grunt. Really? Blue stripe grunt, some sergeant majors down there in the chumps, swear. Okay, that's a good sign. We got a rig, we got that's a rig. That's a good sign. Why don't we get these carcasses I just, in? I feel like this canal is just different. Bro. Dude, they don't have to travel as far down. They don't have to travel as far. The fish can get here very quickly. And I don't know, dude, like if I would have put my bait pen in the water, at my house, it would not have that much algae on it. You think it's just hitting different here? I don't know, it just hits. Let's get these in the water, Something's Chris. different, bro. These are the stinky stink, bro. We got literally week old. No. Snapper, how old are these? These are fresh, bro. Two day old. Look at that thing, that's a nice, that's a fatty, bro. He ain't that bad for, for an inshore snapper. 
Come on now. These snapper guys, all these snappers down here are about to go running because they're gonna see all these. They're gonna say, Jim, I just saw you. Perfect. That was lovely. Perfect. We might want to save one of those. That's the first carcass in the water. That's the first beautiful carcass in the water. That's gonna be so huge. Water's nice and clear. You can see that thing all the way down to the bottom. So water's that's really super good. Super clear. The conditions are right, ladies and gentlemen. That's a smaller one, dude. Yeah, he's a little smaller, but it's still about 13, 14 incher. Oof, a little dirty. Let it slap. Perfect. That's the fish call. That's the fish call right there. You got the duck call, that's the fish call. You let him, you let him slap like that? So, you hold on tight, baby. Yep. I think it's the smallest one we caught, about a 12 incher. Let it slap. We got the red Powerade, bro. Get the Kool-Aid. Here we go. Yes, sir. Extra bloody. Double ground, extra fine, and extra bloody. That's the way we like our canals. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. We haven't even started. That's like the first little segment of chum. We have so much more. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Dude, big boil, huge boil, huge boil right here. Huge boil right here. What is it, Jack? What is it, is it Jack? It's a wave, it's a wave. Oh, it's a wave, God damn it. All right, false alarm, first false alarm of the day. Wow. All right, we're gonna get our first bit of actual, you know, big bloody. fish, bloody chum right here. We're gonna get this bonita carcass in. Let's see, let's flop this puppy out of the bag so you guys get a good old look at it. That is, uh, it's quite the, uh, if I'm a fish, I'm, I'm thinking that's, you know, that, that looks that, like that, a knife. That's whoa, a, that's whoa. succulent. Jesus Christ. Horsefly? I he's don't on know you. what the, He's right here, he's right here, he's right here. No, it's a big bumblebee. Big old bumble. I will punch that bee in the face. Big old bumble. Even though hashtag saved the bees, but just leave me alone, dude. Dude, look at all this blood right here. Get in the water. Nice. All right, I'm gonna flick this guy in because I don't want to touch quite yet. Okay. But here he goes. Give you him ready? the flop. Give him the flop. He's gonna do an ultimate backflip. Okay. Three, two, one. Hell yeah. He's, he's going a little far. He's floating. No. He's going a little far. That's good. He torpedoed. Oh my God, he's coming right back. Perfect. That's perfect. We got a good presentation going. I officially see four Sergeant Majors down there. That's a record. That's a record. They're coming. Getting some blood in the water. They're Take coming. me out. Check me out here. Just little, little droplets. Good. Every drop counts. Every drop does count. Gonna fly up this Bonita here. Get some nice big baits for ourselves and get this carcass inside of the water. Just like that other one. So we're just gonna flay the sides off this thing with the knife that ultra rusted found on the boat. Super, really super, knife. super safe. Lay this guy up. Surprisingly, it's actually not too freaking frozen. You seem to be tr struggling. It's quite a bit here. It's actually not that bad. Look at that. That's what we're after. Hang on, just dip it in the sauce. Oh, nice. Dip it in the sauce. That's there. like a wing with buffalo sauce. Yeah, that's baby. nice. So there's one side. We're gonna do the other side here, then throw this big ass thing in the water. Because you'll see when these big, when the, if this tarpon shows up or this big cuda, he'll go for these big slabs before anything else. Rather than those snapper carcasses, nothing like that. This is what he wants. He wants that meat. Give me some of that. Give him some, give him some ranch and buffalo sauce. Let me just dip it in the sauce here. <laughs> All right, now that you got it in that ranch and that jalapeno sauce or whatever, oh, yeah, just buffalo. rub it on there. That's nice. That's a chicken tender Extra dip. hot sauce. Two. That was the belly flop action we were after. That's a good flop, dude. That thing's sinking right down to the bottom. Primo, absolute primo. Get a couple of these in there, eh? Just to call them. When they show up to the buffet, they want something to eat right away. Agreed. See that? This knife is wicked. Not gonna lie, it might be one of the sharpest knives I've actually ever freaking used, believe it or not. Look at that succulent. That's a succulent, bro. They're gonna want that. <laughs> Round two of Bonitas is about to commence. We got a bunch of stuff here. The flies it's are all out. going in at the same time. See ya, bud. Dude, that's so much chum already Dude, in the no, water. I'm we haven't even flick, made a I'm dent. I'm gonna flick all these in there too. We haven't even made a dent in our chum, and we are already. They gotta go down the slip and slide, though. You know what I'm saying? That's yes, sir. We got about like ten nuggets right there, and Jack is saving these for bait. Those are gonna be our baits. Whenever we uh, see something big, we're gonna throw that right at it. As you guys all know, Salt Bay's gotta come out at some point. We're gonna finish it off right here with fish a little bay. fish bay. Yeah. Little fish bay action here. Chopped up sardinas. Sardinas. That's our version of salt. Very, very nice. We got some heads, we got some tails, we got some bodies. <laughs> we got some bodies. <laughs> we're sliding them in. Let's get this place seasoned up nice. This is enough chum to last us for a good hour. Oh yeah. Like I don't think we're More gonna three up hour. for like an hour. We're gonna see what we can catch right now. Yeah. We've got some little fish around. Phase one chum. Let's see what phase one chum can bring us today. We got phase number one of chum in the water. We're gonna go ahead, see if we can knock out a few fish here. We actually saw very some very elusive exotics down here. What is that? What is that? Zombie looking guy. Zombie fish. Zombie looking dude. What is that? Jackerball. 
Mini Jack of all. What? Mini Jack of all. <laughs> Holy that Mini Jack. Jack. That could be a fire live bait, dude. <laughs> Bro, Bakuda comes. Oh my gosh. This thing was, no, dude, there's a zombie one down there. That thing's numbing. Okay, I didn't expect to catch a jack of all first fish of the day. You put this thing out on the long. Oh my God. Mr. Slimer is going to find him. Look at that baby jack, dude. We've caught some jumbo jacks before. This is just a wee little dude right here, runs the canal. First yeah, yeah. fish of the day. Hopefully we can get one that's like 15, 20 pounds come to the dock here shortly. Small or fish first, then Small make. fish first, you got to upgrade. As you can see. First that, one of the day. That shows you right there. Boom, what do we got? Uh, then we, we got, got a foul hooked fish. What is that? Another jack, that's a smaller jack. Hooked him in the side. That's a smaller They're getting smaller jack. as the day goes on. Pretty easy. All right, that's a good sign though that we still have. Look we at got how he's hooked. Hooked in the, in the side. side. Poor Let's guy. Let's go. Hey, and honestly, that's a great start to the day. I was thinking some SMs, stuff like that to start. Jacks off rip. No complaints out here. Drop a like on this video if you guys think we should get this guy in the pond, except like Dude, we his 15 come, pound brother. Yeah. Or like if we do small fish, dude, we get like eight of these. Oh my God, that'd be so cool. Saltwater be piranhas. like piranhas, dude. Be crazy. That's a little guy, even smaller than the first one. All right, bud. See ya. Drop a like on this video if you guys think jack or balls, babies or giants for the pond. So comment below, babies or giants, and let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you want to see some jack or balls in the pond. I got eyes on this bait, guys. You're going to about to size of that dog snapper. I, I can't. Oh, see. it's a baby. No. We want that dog snapper, huh? Dude, he's big. So that's a little mangrove. Oh, we got puffer. puffed. You got we puffered. Got puffed. You got puffered. Man. Oh, now we just got jacked. Oh, oh, now we lost it all. Look at him. Look at him. He's right here. Look at him. Ooh, ooh, the jack. We're going to have to get this puffer jack. out of here. We have to get the puffer out of here. He'll never learn. Pork. Pork. Oh my God. Spotted. Porky. Porky. Pork spotted. Pork spotted. Jack on. Jack, you're going to break your rhino. Why am I not hooking him? Because you're big. I'm in tight quarters. Oh my God. I can't hook set. Figure it out, buddy. Look at the pork. The pork's flared. I got eyes on Jack the... on. Oh my gosh. Immediate. We're in a good little area the right here. The jacks are everywhere, The jacks bro. are everywhere. That would have been number three for the freaking... This one's super yellow. So we are fishing actually underneath the boat because we got the sun up here with these random clouds that are creating some weird glare. So underneath the dock or underneath the boat here, you guys can actually see right down in the water. There's that pork fish. He's flare jacked this pork fish. I know. I'm going to let this jack go. Let him go. Number three. All that right. pork fish is, he, he wants, he wants some shrimp. He wants bait. eats. So right under the boat here, we got a good, nice little spot where we got high viz. And you can see how clear the water is. I just wish it wasn't so glary. Out. Major viz. Dude, that porky is shredding down there. Yeah, he wants to, uh, as I would say, he wants to cop grub. Cop grub. Cop grub. Let's see if we can cop him some grub right here. Porky right below. Porky right below. Porky right porky below. Right porky right below. Right below. Porky looking. Porky I'm looking. About to get Snapper to looking. Snapper look. Oh, oh my God. You need to get him out of the way. Oh, Freaking poop. The puffers ruin everything, dude. They really do, they bro. They ruin everything. I mean, we have a pork. If that puffer wasn't there, it was a pork on. It's a pork on and a it's heartbeat. The pork on. Oh, oh my god! Big snapper. Big snapper. Oh, lost him. That's a giant. That was a that giant. Was a jumbo. That was a giant. That was a jumbo. Okay. Oh my dude, god. We have a little tear going on we right have, here. We have an insane group of fish here. This is our target. Our target is right there. You guys can see that yellow fish. That's our target. We have so many other fish around here though that are just taking our shrimp. This thing's so gonna eat it. Oh my God, get him out of there, Jack. Oh my God. All right, get him out. Phase one has become, it's honestly a great phase one we're having. We got the Jacks. Now we caught a snapper. Look at that guy snapping. Little baby mangrove snapper. There's definitely a bigger one down there along with our pork and there's a really pretty dog snapper. Let's go ahead and throw that guy right back there. Got his oh ass. Oh my God, get him out get of him here. Get him out, That's one at a time. This guy I'm not even dropping back under the boat, put him on the right side of the dock. Yeah, yeah. let's get him out of here. This guy's puffing. <laughs> God, I, I would hate to be a poker fish, dude. I know, dude. Get him I would out of really here, hate to be a puffer. Get him out of here. Send Good. him way over there to the other dock. Let the other guy have him. Good. Dog, dog snapper. Big, big dog. Big dog snapper. Big dog. Big dog. Big dog. Big doggy. Big dog. <laughs> big dog. That's such a big dog, dude. dude. That's a gorgeous fish. That's such a big dog. This is probably one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Dude, no kidding. We don't really bro. go for these guys, so that's why you know this is one of the bigger ones. Look at the freaking teeth. Like a rattlesnake on that guy. Oh my God, that is such a big dog. They call him something else, right? Or no? Dog or School, schoolmaster. schoolmaster. It's two different snappers, but I think this is just a... Jack! Jack! My God, he was on the edge of glory. That is a gorgeous fish, dude. It really is beautiful. It's Looks like he might be going blind in that one eye. It's like one of the biggest dogs I've seen, bro. All right, buddy. I ain't, I ain't talking dog the bounty hunter. I'm talking, no. I'm talking dog face snapper. Dog facing. See it, buddy. We are we're after that porky. Look how smart this pork is. What is that? He comes up and then leaves it. What is this? What is this? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Grunt. Oh my god. Okay. We're okay. on serious fish tear here, yeah, though. We've caught every species in the book. Really good bait right there. <laughs> Shout out to Richard Shaw. Let's look inside his mouth. 
Pretty red. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Not too bad. Shot the picture. <laughs> See ya. Round two of Chum about to go out. It is midday. We're at the hottest point of the day. It's hot. It is really hot right now. That's I'm why I'm dying right now. Ultra, ultra sun blocking right now. Yeah, my that's good. fish guy Bucky. It is one o'clock in the afternoon, and we have round two, two whole bonitas and some diced up loving goodness. No buffalo sauce really for this round. That's all right. But that is okay. Poke the eyes out so they sink. We're gonna slide these puppies in. I, I really think that when we get around 2:30, it's gonna start hitting off. When that tide starts sucking all this juice out, yeah, it's we're over. gonna be looking really good. It's over, bro. It's over. It's over. All right. Let's get this beauty in. Oh, splash damage yep. on that one. On me. That's a nice bonita right there, bro. Gonna get this guy in there And the too. sun's coming out too a little bit, so. You're gonna, Ready? You're gonna be able to see in the water, yep. Nice. Lovely, eh? Nice. All right, now all this. Look at these. We're just freshening up. Filet just... mignons. Oh, nice yeah. cubed for the steak kebabs later for these fish. Those, are, those look like seriously. Filet kebabs. They actually look pretty good. They actually do look really good, but I would eat bad. that. Here we go. Nice. Holy rapid fire, bro. That don't call them, I don't know what's gonna. If that doesn't call the fish, you're right. I don't know what's I don't know what will. Happen. We have one bonita left, one whole bonita left, and I think a whole the low box tide. of chum. I think the low tide's gonna be key, or the outgoing tide. I, I, I agree. I, th I really do think so, so. I mean, we just threw so much fish in there. Come on, let's go. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Massive. 80 pound tarpon. 80 pound tarpon. Massive, massive. massive. Literally almost ate my shrimp underneath the boat. I Where swear should I go? God, he's, he's gonna Where come, should I go? He's gonna come right over here and start feeding. Oh my God. Are you serious? I swear on my life. Okay, first big fish of the day. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God, it's not even that time. I swear on my life, he's okay. here. I'm gonna keep my eyes out for him. I haven't seen him personally. I have not seen him. That was Jack spotted him. And once I get- He literally, and there was a little kuda, like a foot long. You want to stay here? Do you want to go? I'm gonna by stay right here. here. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm, I'm gonna go check. I'll never dock. be able to catch him under the dock. He wants our. Sh he wants our. Sh he literally scared the crap out of me. It, was, it looked like a freight train. Oh my god! Are you serious? I swear to God. Let's go. This is not even a drill. This is not even a drill. This is a 2319 non-drill. <laughs> it's a 2319. Non-drill. 2319 non-drill. Literally went after my shrimp on my hook this big. Are you serious? Because the kuda was up to. The, there was a couple of pork fishes there, and then all of a sudden I'm like, my heart stopped beating for a second. <laughs> like. How thick we talking? Girth wise. Dude, like, I swear to God. <laughs> no way, bro. Think of Buddha. Oh my God. Think of a Buddha as a tarpon, I mean, as a fish. He's gonna, he, he, he smells all this. He's gonna come right here, I okay. promise. All right, all right, let's just wait it out for him. We're gonna wait. Hopefully he gets over here. Great train that's hungry. He was giant. He was huge. Oh my God, dude, come on, bro. He swam right under Jack's boat and Jack said he was huge and it like, scared him. I basically had to pull my shrimp away from him because I was like, if I hook him right now, he's never gonna have a chance and I'm never gonna have a chance. He wanted that little tiny piece of shrimp. He wanted a little piece of shrimp because I think he was gonna eat the, the snapper and the grunt that was going after my bait. Oh my God, bro. He's gonna come in here. He's gonna do some investigating, come he on. He has to investigate this. We have an absolute graveyard over here. This is not even a drill. This is not even a drill. I'm not leaving this position. I don't even know which one's my bait. <laughs> With the remora. Camera's Swear to God, on. hurry, hurry. Jesus. Big. Is my mic on? Yeah, perfect timing for the lawn. Man. Look at this, look at this. Hurry, hurry, he's about, to, he's about to go out. See him? No. He's far. I can't see he's him. Gonna come back. He's no gonna come back, he's gonna come back. Oh my God, I see his tail. He, oh, here's Big Jack too. That's a giant one, dude. Dude, biggest nurse shark we've, we're gonna catch that we've caught. Sorry, sorry that we have uh Sorry we have a, a, the lawn men are at this house right here, which that happens. is so big. Look at the size of that. Where is he? He's out deep. I can't see him, bro. He's gonna come in close. Here he comes. He's coming on the left side. I see him. Here he comes. He's gonna come in shallow. He ate everything I out see deep. Him. Yeah, that is the biggest one we've caught. Oh my god, he's a mega. He's a mega. You can barely see in the camera, dude. He's coming back. There he comes, shallow. He's coming back. Way bigger than the one at your house, dude. Way bigger. Dude, that is not a small nursey. Holy shit! He's gonna eat that whole foy. He's gonna eat that whole carcass. Watch. Watch, what? I can't, dude, I can't, can't see, see it, bro. It's it's the sky. This looks like the sky. Oh my god, he's ate the whole freaking thing. Shark is back, guys. Right here. Shark is back. He is right there. It literally looks like I'm looking at the sky. He's swimming. Turn back around, out. Betsy. Come here, come here. Dang it, dude. He's swimming back out. Dude, bro. he's back and forth. Kyle, keep an eye on him over there. He's gonna come back. So we have seen a big tarpon, 80 pounds. Did not get that on camera. Jack saw that. That was a couple hours ago. We ended up not seeing it again, which is super strange because he was in this canal with all this food here. And now we got the shark. Um, right there, guys. He's right there. You guys probably don't believe me right now, but he's right there, bro. He's on my bait. Oh my God. Turn. No. Oh. 
He just swam right past your bait, bro. Like literally a foot away from it, dude. It's on his tail. I don't want him to feel the line. He doesn't want that snapper. He's right there. His head is facing me right there. He's on a snapper. He doesn't want that. He wants a bonita. We got a bass guy catching sharks. Back, big shark guy now. Hell yeah. Maybe there he is. There he is. Shirt. Should have left my bait. He's back on the snapper. You got your glasses? He's got his boots, dude. This guy's ready to wrangle a freaking shark. <laughs> I'm ready to wrangle a shark, guys. I'm ready to wrangle a shark. It's been like five minutes. This and thing's toying, bro. Yeah, he's toying with us. He's going. For, he's going for the bonita. Oh my god, Jack! He's going right for your bait. He's going right towards my bait, bro. Oh my god, he's going right for your bait. Oh, you oh suck. my god! You suck. He turned right around. Come on, bro. come on, turn, 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 turn. He's out left. He's out left. Come on, bang that left. Make it left. Make it left. He made a left. He's making a left. Yeah, he just made a left. Should I just leave my bait there? Uh, I don't know. He's. he's I know. I'm, I put it in the mix. He's taking a shallow. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. He's really taking a shallow, Chris. He's taking it shallow, dude. No, no, he's going right for it. He's going right for it. Oh, oh are my you God. He he kidding me? Are you no, he's, kidding me? He's turning around. Hold on. He, he's, he's sitting he just, down right he there. He just totally sat on one. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's right on top of it. He, he just got it. it. He, he just ate it. Nice. Nice. Hit him. Hit him. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Make sure I go. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at the size of that arrow. There he is, you guys. Oh, no! No! Jump in and jump in! I got you. Jump in! Jump in! He did. How did he come unglued? No! No! He just cheesed. He was never hooked. He was never hooked, bro. He was just holding on to it, bro. I hook, no. I hook set it on him probably 10 that times. That was a big shark, dude. Oh, oh yeah, my perfect. god. Oh my god, no way. Did you bro. see the size of that? Did that you get on a, film? Yes, dude, that was a big boy. Holy crap. That was one of the bigger nurse sharks we've ever hooked. Oh. That's the thing with the nurse sharks is they don't take off like a big run, like a bigger fish or like a bigger shark. They just kind of float up to you and like, then they face you and they kind of just go like this and it shakes the hook. It's like a catfish, bro. Literally a, a glorified, I just had a catfish. A glorified catfish. Oh my God, that sucks, dude. I'm just happy we got to hook him. That was, that was big. Damn it. That was freaking big. That was the oh biggest God, one we God. hit. Oh my God, okay. Now we gotta wait for the next big fish. We're, 0 for 2 on big fish. 0 for 2. That hurts. Watch them come up. Guys, we've been infested by catfish. Catfish have found us, huh? It's, a, it's an infestation. It's an infestation, There's bro. just one, but there's hundreds. No, there's so many down there, it's not even funny. Little do you guys know, these videos, most of the time, it's me and Jack sitting right here, and then me like this. Patiently. And we uh, are on shifts for looking in the water. So, we do for you. But it's been all day, and we're still waiting for that big fish. Fooled him. Fooled him, needlefish going nuts. Fooled him. That's how you that's how you do the foolage. Whoa, dude, you're gonna stab my eye out. He that, just vomited all over me. Oh my god, I am so sorry. No, no, I, that's the needlefish fault, not yours. But he actually vomited on me. Dude, you should have seen the pure skill. I shook the chum bag, noticed that they all were eating on the top. Whenever uh -huh. I threw my bait out and reeled it, they wouldn't move, so I sit barely put it in the water. You tricked them. Tricked them. Look at that freaking mouth. Oh Look at those fangs god, in there, bro, dude. That's gnarly. That is actually a gnarly looking fish. All right, we're gonna send this guy back home. There's multiple around here, but you know what? You gotta keep yourself busy, otherwise you're gonna fall asleep on the couch. Exactly. All right, bud. You know, things come in threes, okay? Tarpon, shark. What's that third? Could be a bull, could be a great white, could be a whale, could be a giant squid. We this don't... thing is vomiting. <laughs> No, this thing's vomiting. He literally vomited on me projectilely. Guys, the sea monster literally eluded us. He ate so much chum here. And if you guys want us to come back and catch that shark or even a bigger one, we need to drop a like on this video right now. 10,000 likes. And we are going to try to sit all day, 24 hours. We didn't do a 24 hour, 24 hours to catch this giant here. We have seen some insanely big fish today. And we think this new dock has some crazy potential. We can catch some giants here. We literally have seen a hundred plus pound tarpon at this dock. We saw an 80 pounder today. I wish I caught that on camera. The glare was so bad. We saw a giant nurse shark. The biggest one we've ever hooked at a dock was this nurse shark right here. I think this dock has serious potential. There's a couple things we can do better, 100%. Wait for a sunny day, and we were chumming on incoming tide the whole day. So that chum was kind of getting pushed to the back of the canal and sitting in the back instead of chumming during outgoing tide with that nice current going out the canal. 
that is what we need to do next. We can catch our biggest dock monster fish at this dock, and I know for a fact we're gonna be able to do it. So drop a like on this video if you guys do want to see that. Chumming this dock again, just in the better conditions. We honestly had the worst conditions possible today. Cloudy and incoming tide all day long. We had the worst possible conditions. Imagine that, worst possible conditions, giant tarpon, biggest nerf shark we've seen at a dock. There you go. That's insane. That just shows the potential that we can crack with this dog. I think it could be huge. Although there was a ton of action today, we didn't hook and land that monster. And that's what we're coming for next, 100%. So I think we give it about a week or so, and you guys let us know down in the comments when you guys want to see this video. Do you want to see it right away, or should we wait a week, let the, let the doc reset, and do it again? You guys let us know in the comments below. I'm going to be dropping a like on this video. If you want to see that again, check out shopfishguy.com. We're getting close to Christmas. I hope every fish guy out there has some fish guy gear underneath their tree we appreciate you guys so much and we will see you in the next video and that nurse shark i'm not coming for you i'm coming for your daddy